came upon this scripture the other morning in our uh, daily devotions and I just thought I would share this little thought here just a real quick kind of a mini sermon if you will Mark chapter 10 verse 17 we'll begin reading here it says and when he was gone forth into the way there came one running and kneeled, kneeled to him and asked him good master what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life and Jesus said unto him why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is God Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and mother. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. But look at this, this is the key to this. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. Jesus isn't being sarcastic with this guy, in other words, he loves him. And said unto him, one thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Life change, you know? And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about, and saith unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words, but Jesus answereth again, and saith unto them, Children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And it goes down through. You can keep reading there and, and things. But just make the point that we have this, this concept that um, when we are supposed to show love as Christians, it's, it's kind of like we should take a lighter attitude towards sin. That isn't it at all. Um... Jesus loved this guy. He looks at him and he says, this guy's coming to him saying, what can I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, you know, he looks at the guy and he loves him. And yet, with his love towards the guy, he still offends him. And the guy goes away. And yet you're told by so many of the brethren out there, particularly in the uh, IFB movement, the Independent Fundamental Baptist, that, you know, the soul winning, soul winning, soul winning, hyper soul winning, you are told that, you know, if you do something, drive away somebody and whatever else, you know, and you don't get that number in there that you can count, you can, you know, notch it on your Bible or your belt or whatever you want to put it on, <laughs> you know, don't you dare offend them. You know, you got to get, you got to win that soul. You got to get that soul at all costs. No, you don't. You tell the truth. I mean, right there's an example of a guy coming and saying, he's interested. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And, uh, yeah, inherit, inherit eternal life. And I'm going to make sure I got my wording right, because I looked up and I saw the kingdom of God there. I was thinking. But anyways, you know, he says, what must I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus looks at the guy and says, I think the guy's sincere. He loved him, but yet Jesus still offended him to the point where the guy walked away. And didn't get saved. We cannot compromise the truth, brethren. Stand by the truth. That's what our job is.